Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you seven different cardio workouts that you can do in place of running and that you can do at home with no equipment at all. Um, so the way this is going to work, I kind of want you to treat this video like a buffet. So I'm going to give you seven different options of different workouts. I'm going to show you each of them for about 30 seconds each. Um, and then so you can either follow along with this video if you want to do all of them or you can pick and choose I'm going to do bur burpees at one point and I know a lot of people hate those So if that's something that you're like, I am never doing that. Don't worry. You can just skip right over it Okay, so this whole point of this video is really to give you a couple of different options So you can pick and choose what you like and then do them at your own pace So I'm doing them for 30 seconds each. I highly recommend if you are going to do these um, in place of running, I would pick maybe like three different ones, do 30 seconds each with a 10 second rest and then repeat that about three to four times. Uh, that's going to be the best way to get see results from this as well as use it as a good equal compensator for going outside and running. Um, without anything else, we'll jump right into it. Okay, so to start we're going to do jumping jacks, then we're going to do jump squats and burpees, okay? So those are the first three. So, jumping jacks. Jump your legs out, your hands come up. Now I do them the cheer way, so I have a high beginner and clean. You can also do it just regular, so your hands will come up, good, and cross over your head. I prefer the cheer way, but that's honestly just because that's what I do the most. And then you feel it in your shoulders and stuff as well. You want to keep your core nice and tight, good, and make sure your arms are coming out the same as your feet, good. Perfect, so next we're gonna go into jump squats. So I'm gonna actually show you these as a 180. So it'll be first forward and then you'll turn into the back one. Legs a little bit more than shoulder length. You jump up, squat. Good, now you're gonna squat. Up, squat. Up, squat. Good. So with this, you wanna make sure you're back up. Keep those shoulders tight. Good. Good, now if you can't jump too much, go up on your toes, squat down, turn, up, down, okay? And then the last one for this is gonna be burpees. So I'm gonna show you a full burpee, a half burpee, and a modified burpee, okay? So, full burpee, you wanna jump up, come down, kick your legs out, push up, up in, jump back up, and jump again, down, out, Jump up, okay? Half burpee. Jump up, down, kick your legs out. Back in, up, down. So basically you just take out the push-up. Modified, go up on your toes. Down, step out, push up if you want. Step in, stand back up, okay? Okay, so the next two we're gonna do high knees, butt kicks, and toe taps, okay? So starting with high knees, you want your legs a little bit more than shoulder width. Shoulders back, core tight, your legs come up. You can put your hands right here to have your knees come up and hit them, okay? If you want, keep your core tight. You really gotta focus on squeezing that. You want your butt tight as well, as your feet just kinda come up. Good. Now, with these, if you need to, go slower, okay? You don't have to be sprinting a marathon. These are supposed to be in place of running, so. Good. Now, the next one, so butt kicks. So it's basically the same idea as running in place, except you want your leg to kick all the way up. So again, shoulders square, core tight. Your feet come up. Good. Now, if you can't actually hit your butt each time, it's okay. Good. This one, you kinda wanna be light on your feet. Your toes just kinda Tap on the ground and come right back up. Good. Now the last one is toe taps. So a lot of people will put a weight there and I figured I'd show you something at home. So this is my Cal 3 book and a cooking book. So your toes tap on top of whatever you put there, okay? It's very light. Again, shoulders square, core tight. You wanna have a nice little bounce in your step as you just come right up. Good. You can use 
anything for the toe taps. Uh, if you guys want to use just like a pillow, a uh, book that you have lying around. If you do have a dumbbell and you want to put that there, that's what a lot more people tend to do if you watch them like online or on Instagram and stuff like that. <laughs> okay, the last one we're going to do is mountain climber. So you're going to go into a nice high plank and your feet are just going to kick forward, okay? Good. You can do this nice and slow. Again, make sure your core is tight. You want to be engaging it in every single one of these activities, okay? Good. And your feet just kind of step forward. And it's just like a little bounce. Keep your shoulders tight, square, and crunch that core. Good. You want your back to be as flat as possible, okay? It's the best way to avoid risk of injury. If you have your butt too high up or your back too far down, it can cause back problems and it also takes away from the actual exercise itself, okay? Bye guys, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that this video helped and gave you a couple of different ideas of things that you can do in place of running while still getting a good cardio workout in. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and if you guys have any feedback for me, make sure you drop it below in those comments. Uh, be sure to check out all my other home workouts as well as our cardio kickboxing class. Uh, that is also a great way to fit in um, fun cardio, and I like to keep the classes under about 40 minutes, so it's a phenomenal workout. And yeah, that's about it. Um, I can't wait to see you guys all again next week. Stay safe, and I hope you're all having a lovely day. Bye!